Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's W3 here, in today's Python tutorial video we're going to be basically creating our own little username doxer, it's going to search the internet, search all the, loads of websites, I think about 70 or 80 websites, and we're going to be trying to dox any username that the user inputs, and find basically if they've got any accounts in any, any other websites basically. So there's a little preview of the code, and now I'm going to show you a quick preview of the program working itself. So here we have the command prompt open and basically I'm going to run a program so python file underscore w3.py It's great, got enter username to docs, I'm just going to say john Maybe there's a lot of johns out there, maybe someone's got a username with john in Looking glass version 1.00, searching for username john Looking glass is working Found matches. We've got 200 OK. Text has been detected in URL. It's going through the um, websites, the URLs basically. Anyone that comes back with 200, it's um, matching because that means obviously that it's there. It's not 404, etc. And then if it finds the text in that web page, in that URL, it will say text has been detected in URL. If it doesn't find that username in the text it will say text has not been detected in URL could be a false positive but still a positive match as you can see it's just iterating through them searching for the username Just because John is not found in the text doesn't mean that it's um, false. You know, doesn't mean that it's a false. Po it could be a false positive. It could not be. Depends on the website, the URL, how that is formatted, etc. Then down at the bottom here, we got finished. A total of 74 matches found out of 74 websites. So found them all basically. John was in them all. Easy peasy. So that's a preview. Let's get into the code. Okay, so we're going to start off with our imports, like we always do. So imports, and what we're going to do is we're going to import, da, 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 we're going to import requests, and we're going to import time. They're the only two imports we're going to use for this program. It's a pretty simple, easy program, but like I said, it's quite good for searching and. Um, all over the internet for the usernames and finding where that username has been used with what URL. So we're going to be using the request library to do that, to go through and iterate through each URL to see if that username has been used with that website and if it has, etc. As you'll see later on in the code, except we'll go through that. So we're going to do going to want the username that we're going to want to look for or we're going to want to dox so we'll just make a variable called username and we're going to do equals input and then we can just do and then enter username to dox so you've got enter username that you want to search for pretty self-explanatory and then we'll just create comment and we'll just put input username to docs pretty easy and also going to give it some color so it's going to be green so I've just added in this bit here I'll just get rid of that for a second that's what I've added in so that will make the rest of this go green so yeah so next we're going to want the URLs that we're going to want to use basically to dox this username and I've already got them so I'm just going to copy and paste that because there is quite a lot so copy and paste in and as you can see there is a lot but I've already gone through it and basically what I've done is I've just got a comment here 
of what it is Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And then I've got a variable Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. You've got the URL slash, and then we've got username, 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 depending on what URL and use and where the username would be. Obviously, here Google Plus, you've got googleplus.com slash s slash username slash top. You know, WordPress, we've got username dot wordpress.com you know many 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 and what I've done is I've got F for the format and then we put it in curly braces and then we've got username so it's going to be using this username here the one that you input the one that the user will input you'll be using that for all these and as you can see we've got loads reddit pinterest github steam flickr tumblr vimeo all sorts I think there's like 70, 80, I'm not too sure, I can't remember. But yeah, there's loads of those of them here. So that's what I've done. I've already I've already done that and I'm not gonna bother obviously going and doing it, slowing us down, so I copied and pasted. That will all be on the GitHub page with and there'll be a link in the description for that, so you don't have to do it yourself either. So next we want to put all these websites, these variables into a list. I've already done that and I'm not going to sit here and type it out either so I just copy and paste it just a bit quicker for you lot so as you can see we've got website list and this is going to be used for searching of the username so we've got website and we've got a list and then I've just Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Blogger, all of them in here it didn't take too long actually because what I did is I copy and pasted all this into another um, application like tab so I just had to flick through the tabs and when I write a little bit of it, it would finish off the word for me anyway, usually. So I just type a little bit, press enter. Didn't take too long, but like I said, not going to do that for the video. So now we're going to get into the code. And we're going to want a color printing function because we're going to use the colors red. We're going to use the colors green, red, yellow, and red. So we're going to create a little function that will help us use those colors without us type without us basically copy and pasting the specific color whatever it is to each um, string input or whatever that we're using so we're just going to create a little function for that so I'm going to test it out for you guys show you how it works etc I've just noticed here we've got outer underscore function and this is outer underscore func so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete some of that there and we've got outer underscore func and then inside we create a function called inner underscore function. So we've got green, yellow, red, a lot easier instead of making functions for each individual colour we're just using one. So we're going to test it out. So I want to make, I want to create a string or input or whatever, print out that's red. So do red and then just type what you want. So hello I am red. So we go up here, get rid of the input. So you don't have to bother typing in any input. Just create a variable saying username equals A. That's just for these here, so there's no errors. Come back down. Looking good. So we we'll go over to a command prompt. We'll now run it just to show you how easy it is basically. And as you can see, it's come up red. Hello, I am red. And that's it basically. Nice and easy. It works nice. So that's why we've made it. So next, we want a banner. So I just copy paste this in here. This is the banner that I made. It's called Looking Glass version 1.00. That's the name of the program. And obviously I've used the color yellow. Really easy. Just type yellow instead of print. And then it'll print out Looking Glass this text basically in yellow. Nice and easy. Like I said, this is a very simple program to make really in Python so next we're going to start off with the little bit of coding that is involved in this um, program now so we're going to do def search and that's because we're going to be obviously searching through the websites through the URLs for the username trying to dox it basically and we'll just do global and then websites because obviously the websites is in the global area and we want to use it in this function here so global websites next okay so now we're going to create our search function function so we're going to do def search 
and that's going to be used for obviously iterating through the URLs, through the websites, and searching for the username that we're doxing. So we're going to do green because we want the text to be green this bit. And then we we'll do that. And then we want F for format, and then create a string. And then we can just do. And then we can just do searching for username, and then curly braces and then we'll just put username that username is relating to the username that we have used up here which obviously will not be that that's for the test earlier showing you the color the username is going to be this input here that the user will enter we don't need to um, say that it's global we don't need to say that the username and the websites are global because we're not changing anything in the websites or the username we're just using it so we don't need to say it's global we're just using it so next we'll do time dot sleep 0.5 and then we'll just print some dots do time dot sleep 0.5 and then we'll print some more dots, same again, and then we'll put a slash n, and then we'll just do time dot sleep 0.5. Next, we'll do green again, f format, same sort of thing, then we'll do looking, glass version 1.00 is working, and then slash n. And that and then we'll just copy and paste this up here down here so that's that bit done this is just really for aesthetics really it's not you know it's just whatever so let's get on to the bit of the code now do time dot sleep and we give it one second then we're going to do count which is going to equal zero we're going to do match which is going to equal true that will become more apparent as we go through the code then we'll do for url in websites r equals request dot get url so we're using the request library and it's doing a git request for each url which is in our website list that's fine then we can do if r dot status underscore code is equal to 200 so what that is saying is basically if the request to that url has a status code of 200 that means it's okay so the request was okay it was good if it's not 200 it will most likely be a 404 or 503 or whatever basically we've tried to request that website with that username and they don't have it it doesn't exist so you know if it's 200 it's very likely that we have found that person's username on that website. So next, if match is equal to true, we'll do green, and then we'll just do a string, and then we'll do found matches, and then we'll just do match equals false. Just so that if there is matches found, it will tell us that it's found matches, and it will only tell us that once because we're going to change match to false. We don't want to, we don't want it to say found matches every single time it goes through a URL, just at the start. So next, we're going to do yellow. Yellow is going to be for the website, the URL, and whether basically if it's matched, it will come up. The URL will come up basically, and it'll be yellow. So we're going to do F for format and then start string. And then we'll do slash N and then curly braces. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the URL. Then we're going to do a dash curly braces again. We're going to do R dot status underscore code. So basically we'll have the URL. We'll have a dash and then it will say 200, which will be the status code, which means positive match. And then we'll just do OK. Which is what that status code means. It means okay, good, everything's good. And that's that. And then we're just going to do if 
username in r.text which is basically saying if the username we're searching for is in the request and then dot text so the, the text the html text that is in that's for the request if our username is in that and that's more of a positive match for us and then we're going to do just copy and paste this here save a bit of time we've got green then we've got f format and then we've got positive match username and then the username we're searching for and then text has been detected in url so that's good you know obviously when it's coming up 200 okay anyway that's a match that's found but this just gives this just reinforces it that the username is actually been detected in the url on the page and then else and then else and then just copy and paste this in here we've got green positive match username and then the username because it's still a positive match because obviously r dot states code is 200 so it's a positive match but the username is not being detected in the url and then we've got this here dash and then this bit here this is red oops that bit there is red basically that's saying that the text after this this bit here will be red now because we're going to use red because obviously text has not been detected in URL and then could be a false positive basically so it's a positive match if the username is in the text and it's a positive match if it's in the, if it's in if it's the URL states code is 200 still but the username has not been detected in the URL so there's no it's no username in that text basically so that's that while we do that so next we can do count plus equals one and that's the, obviously count how many URLs we have found a match for and then we're going to print that out out of how many URLs we um, are searching against basically and then we can just do total equals length and then websites so that's the total number that we're searching through is the length of the websites count that's obviously going to build up as it goes through next we're going to have green and then f format and we've got a string and then finished and then a total of count which is in curly braces so have many and then matches found out of a total which is going to be the total number of websites so it'll be a total of say 10 matches found out of 100 websites next we just got to do our if underscore so if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to comma underscore underscore main underscore underscore then we're going to have our banner then we're going to have our search and that is basically it pretty simple pretty easy pretty quick but it will search all these use websites URLs for whatever username you're trying to dox on the internet and find basically very easy very simple so that's it for this video guys hope you've enjoyed it it's quick and easy simple little program just something I thought I'd show you anyway subscribe hit that like button and boom see you later